Alrighty, day two. Got a haircut because I needed it. Um, got my got my nozzles in here. I'm not gonna open them right now because um, we're trying to get this out at the moment. And then we gotta work on the front mount until the other parts come. So just right here, you gotta take that bolt off, take the line off, and then apparently you just wiggle it back and forth. All right, so you gotta disconnect the little rubber lines, which he's doing right now. You gotta like, break them loose sometimes if you're running with it, so you don't want to You got another line too. Uh, I guess you don't technically have to take them off first. Technically have to take them off first, but we need some more water here. These are actually really simple but there's not a good how-to video on it, so here's our how-to video. That may be why there's no good how-to video on it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it's always nice to help people out. Yeah. Then you get your 17 mil wrench. Get it down oh. here. Pop off the fuel line. It's a little stiff. Get that off. Kind of move it out of the way. They're hard lines, so. Oh, the video I watched, the guy like flipped it over, but I think he loosened the other side. I don't want to do that. Let's move that out of the way. This one looks like it's not going to be as fun to do. I won't get to the Is there a clamp on that that clamps the other two together, like a plastic clip? Uh, yeah, but they're not going to fit. So. <laughs> okay, now we got to get past these glow plug lines, which is yeah. kind of. Yeah, so there's your glow plug lines right there, which does kind of suck because you got a little clamp right here. It's a 13 mil bolt. You can feel that deep is probably down through here. Get, that get it? Yep. Take the bolt out. Might be easier to pull it out with just the bolt. Maybe get that wrench just to work. Let's go. Yeah, the wrench is going to be fun on that one. Little washer, don't lose it. They're oddly shaped, so it'd be having a pain to find one. Here's our track. Okay, so now the more interesting part. But still pretty simple. So once you get the clamp out, you get a 15 mil, and you just gotta wiggle it back and forth and kind of go up at the same time. You gotta, you gotta like get it to turn, dude. And just once it turns a little bit, turn it back the other way. There you go. Now turn it the other way, and then wiggle it back and forth and go up at the same time. It'll get to a point where you'll fill it loose and you can almost grab it by hand. Oh, it's not the clamp to pull down. It's almost out. A little more rotations on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it kind of. I grabbed it with my hand at, towards the end. It's really loose now. I, well, I wiggled it and grabbed it with my hand. Oh, see, there it goes. She's out. And that's how you do it, and then we'll, uh, I'll set the camera over on the table and figure out how to get the injectors off, or nozzles, because those are injectors. Ignore me. So the injectors I bought are, shit, what was the size of it? Oh, PP520 injectors. I got them from Kerma TDI, because the other place I bought my stuff from didn't have any. Um, I'll go into detail with that later where I got my other stuff. And then, so... Now I just gotta figure out how to get these on. It looks like they go in like this, and this is like some sort of clamp. So I'll just go at it, and see what happens. There's a light go on this one. Hold on. The injector? Weird. All right. Apparently a bunch of diesel fuel will leak out, but it did not. Oh, just kidding. Spoke too soon. Oh, just kidding. All right, so there's the old injector, or nozzle. I gotta get my terminology right here. I'm just gonna put a rag right down there, let it drip. Okay, so when installing the injectors, you got these little nozzles. Sorry. You got these little pins and then a little hole. If you look, you have three holes on this. So you'll have to line it up with the three prongs and make sure the hole is on the right side. And then it just drops right in there. 
Slip that back on top. Don't wait for my exit, please, please. Yeah, yeah. Alright, getting these injectors in. So I gotta remember, because mainly cylinder number one and three are the only ones I really have to remember, because cylinder number one has an end cap for these fuel uh, returns. So cylinder number one will have the end cap. Cylinder number three has the electrical connection. So this one doesn't have the end cap or the electrical, so this is cylinder number four. These are really easy to put back in. Just, I super glued, just get a little dab of super glue right there just to hold in this copper crush washer. And then I'll, uh, push it in there. Oh, turn it around, turn it around. Just like that. And then push this down, then that clamp will clamp it down. And then we'll be good. So I'll continue and do this. All right, the parts have came. I'm gonna unbox. Does someone want to record? Does someone, John? John, do you wanna? Or is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, well, unboxing. unboxing video. Yeah, bro. We're, we're gonna do an unboxing video, but we're not gonna do an installation video. <laughs> we're those guys. Oh, and I got a magnetic drain plug, too. Hell yeah. Oh, that's my tune. That's my oil line. Dude, look at that oil line. Braided. That is a super simple tune. And then there's another oil line. This is, I think this is the return. Yeah. Just a chip, you're lucky. Yeah, just a chip. I gotta send in a whole ECU. There's my exhaust gasket. Come on, Quade, we're waiting for the goodies. I know, I'm trying to get to the goodies. The, some bolts. Oh, look how clean this thing is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still a little tiny exhaust housing, but KO3, KO4 hybrid. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Here. Get that, get that, and then get that one. Spin it from the opposite side. Give it a flick, it should spin. Yay! How did you get a Borg Warner KO3, KO4 for under a grand just the turbo itself? Like Cascade German. I want to give a shout out to those guys because they really helped me out. Thing zoom, yeah, Mr. Happy. Little, little flapper right there. Oh, zoomed in hella that whole time. Yeah, I don't know why it starts zoomed in. Oh, okay. Don't know why. Not anymore. So little. Shh. Don't ruin my happiness. <laughs> Thought you were getting a KO four. I just fucking got a KO four. Got half of a any more goodies in this box? Let's see that downpipe. Oh, there's my magnetic drain plug. Oh yeah, the downpipe! Cascade German! I got my Bilstein downpipe right here. <laughs> Bill Steam, bud. A little down, bud. Moving the fender. Well, there's a little through here. Yeah, hold your fender on Oh my god, I got one. Hey, it's so cute. Can you get out of the second one? 
I would like to work on it all night, but Hunter wants to go to the drift event, so I guess we'll go to the drift event. I don't know. Shit, Quaid, we can pretty much cross off. Oh. No, leave that on <laughs> there, you douche. Damn, um. I guess we can cross off and take. Almost. It's not complete, but. One last thing. That'll be for later on. Yeah, definitely. After it blows. Because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it, right? Something like that. Twelve? Quaid, we gonna do an update? Yeah. Got the turbo on. The oil lines, the bottom return line was a pain in the ass. The one I bought um, was supposed to fit this car, but it didn't because this motor was swapped. And so it was a different fitting. It was a banjo bolt instead of whatever the other fitting is. Hunter could explain it to you. Up. What's that other fancy pipe next to it? It's yeah. connected. Oh yeah, we got the downpipe on as yeah, well. That. Kinda forgot about that. That was Where's also the, a pain in the ass. Let's too. try it. Light. Yeah, you get the light. You got the downpipe. Where's the bolt to? Right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Got the new bolts. I'd make weird sounds. Anyways. You got the uh, turbo on. Then we just gotta hook up a couple pieces of piping that we can. Maybe the intake. Oh, we gotta do the tune. That's what we gotta That's do. That's what we're doing next. After yeah. we get this bolt on, we're putting the chip in. And then we'll put pipe. The quid just took this off, he's about to install his tune and his ECUs right under there. Got the ECU off and then we got a This is a silver one that was very irritating. Okay. Clean off this table. Just got the chips replaced. It was very terrifying. But I did it. Now I'm gonna put this back together and uh, never touch it again. <laughs> so we started working on my car, and then uh, Mr. Mulcanning decided to come by with his uh, Miata here. And uh, hey, Wait, hey, do you want to tell us what happened? I'll tell you, Quaid Smith broke it. <laughs> what do you do? It's destroyed. What do you do? It's got stuck in reverse and neutral. Stuck in reverse and neutral. Apparently, it's just Miata life. Yeah, what can I say? So, we thought we were going to have to park it here and leave it here all night, but then Mold did some research here and uh, figured out he didn't have to. Out in pose. You need some find me out of bitches to hop up on that shit. At Mulmanning666, follow me on Twitter. There you go. And Instagram. And Instagram. Wait, no, your Instagram is what, Mulmanning12 valve now? Yes. Because you're a little, little Cummins fanboy here. Hey, you know what, man? This is what happens when you don't have a Cummins. You end up like this. <laughs> so what are you doing under there? You know, just me out of things, cool guy stuff. Just me out of things. You gotta poke a screwdriver. Not heard this one. Everyone, it's like a fine woman. You just gotta poke a screwdriver in there and start feeling around every once in a while. Then things just start getting fixed. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, she's operational again, boys. Okay. I'm gonna slither out from under this death trap. The whole time I was under that, the only thing I could think about was this thing just falling on me. You know. Yeah, we don't recommend going under the car under one jack, but we don't have any jack stands, so. They're all in there. Yeah, they're all being used on broken Volkswagens. You'll probably do. Oh, yeah, Along with Miatas, too, apparently. That Sometimes shifted. they think they're shifting. Though. Did it shift? Oh, yeah, it shifts. Did it shift in all it the shifts, gears? Yeah, it shifts better, hey, if don't, anything. Don't smack it around and pretend you're rally driving. It's not in yeah, I'm going to go lot. rally driving. Okay, so it's currently 12, 18, and Quaid's been putting in a lot of work. So far he's got 
What's that thing right there again, quick? EGR? His EGR. His EGR and his intake on. He's got his coolant hoses all hooked up. And what else have you done? Uh, I got my intake back on now. Uh, just the, you just got the intake, or inlet, turbo inlet in. Uh, I'm about to hit the intake to the intake manifold. Then I gotta do my air intake to the turbo inlet. And figure out how to pipe the front mount. And then top off fluids and we're done. Do my, do an oil change too. Might as well, I'm this deep in it now, but. Yeah, make sure it's running so fresh. Good. Pretty good build, pretty quick. Pretty good, pretty quick. How many hours total would you say you're into it? I tore apart last week. So, so maybe, maybe 10 hours. If that's with. Not a day. Oh, well, the day. Definitely. So you're probably. I'll say three days into it. Three days into it, and he's already gotten it. Pretty much back together, and yep. Oh, I got to get You gotta get, gotta get the custom piping for that nice bitch. Fuck these clips. And that's the piping we're gonna be using. Don't do that, 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 don't do that. Use a file. Who needs master muffler? File it down. Cut the math. And the intake connected, mask plugged in, zip tied it up just so the zip tie shit. So the zip tie. And then custom piping, that is the OEM piping we are using to mock up to the intercooler. It's gonna run down through this and go this way. gonna come out from here come down and around and into there right into that awesome little hole all right it's been a long day I'm really dirty but got a lot done I'm really fucking dirty just staring at the screen anyways literally got everything besides the hot side of the intercooler that's literally all I need left, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow unless I buy a pipe bender, which I might, because I really want my car back. Got the tune done. Showed that. Got all the piping done. Did you just show this? <sighs> uh, my mat's about to fall. Just got this done. Need stock piping, as Ginger said earlier. Goes up. It's really hard to kind of point out where I went, but... This is all stock from here to here. This grommet actually might even be stock yeah, in the stock, stock location. Well, it's stock, but like this might be even be in the stock location. Oh, yeah. This is stock location. And then it goes under the power steering and then back around over here. And then we have a grommet right there to this 90 Go right there. I'm actually really impressed with how that worked. I don't like the dent, but it'll still work. But now we just got to figure out. <sighs> Sorry, excuse my yawning. It's one in the morning. But see, the thing is, the turbo outlet's one inch. Everything else is two inch. So, yeah. But, yeah. This is probably going to be the end of this video. Pretty yeah, well. end of the night. Call it night. And then you figure out how to get the rest of it done. Because I was gonna 
So this mounts like this way in the stock location, notice the bend. I was just going to go rotate and then cut that end and flip it. But then the bend goes this way and it hits my turbo and all my EGR and shit. So I don't know what to do now. Got to get one inch piping, which I don't know where the hell I'm going to find. Got one inch grommet. Got a couple two inch grommets. Got quite a few of them actually, so we could just grommet everything. But oh, I don't know. But the tiredness has hit me, so I think we're going to call it a night. Maybe clean up a little bit because the shop's a disaster right now. But let's see how it goes. Anyhow, peace. Yeah.